supernatural speed. Yes. We are believing God to make a headway. Yes. We are trusting God for exponential growth. Yes. We are trusting God for advancement. We are trusting Amen. God for progress. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. This is the year that you have few opportunities, mm. but you will do more. Amen. Oh, your amen, amen. is, is amen. Amen. Your amen. 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 Come on. amen. I said this is the year when we say divine acceleration, mm. it's no more about you. Yeah. It's no more about me. Yeah. It's no more about the technicalities, the uh. legalities, and the wisdom of men. No. It's no more about your profession. Mm. It's no more about your knowledge yeah. or your pedigree or your degree. No, it's about God taking over. Jesus. I said it's about God taking over. Taking over. Also, <laughs> He said, it's not by might, no. mm. it's not by power. Mm. No. By might is the might of men, mm. the wisdom of men, mm. the technicalities and the legalities, yeah. the knowings and the know-how of men, yes. the link-up, mm. the connections of men. Mm. But when God takes over, yeah. <laughs> I said, when God takes over, when a takeover. Uh, mm. he said, a king, mm. 
Get ready. Yes. An abundant rain is coming. Yes. Mm. But King, I want you to go to your mm. palace. Mm. Mm. Oh, this rain will catch up with you. Mm. Or something else might happen to you. Yes. Mm. Before the king could get there, mm. uh -uh. <laughs> the prophet who was standing at the first location mm. where the king was standing with him, yes. the king was... Oh, yeah, yeah. The prophet was already mm. at the new location. Yes. Mm. So as the king got there, he said, Man of God, mm. how did he get here? Mm. How did you get mm. here? Mm. This year. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Can, can I prophesy? Yes. I said this year. Yes. By yes. the close of this year, yes. you will get to a level yes. that uh, by human strength, yes. they thought it was impossible. Yes. They thought you cannot make it. Yes, they thought you cannot accomplish it. Yes. But when the power of God, mm. When the anointing of God yes. locates you, yes. finds you, mm. and pick you, yes. you will do more with a few. Uh, yes. I said you will do more with a few. Yes. See, we are in July, yes. the month of fruitfulness. My God. But I can boldly tell you that I'm a living proof eh, of divine acceleration. Yes. Those around me know that my business... Um, I've experienced the, oh, yes, 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 yes. the exponential growth. Yes. Yes. See, mm. the kind of income or money that has touched my hand this year mm. is more than. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. No, God can't tell me something that He will not let me taste it so that I can. Mm. Uh, no, no, no. Yes. That, that is wrong. No, 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 no. As a leader, I must mm. taste it yes. so that I will testify. Yes. Mm. If David is telling you that uh, uh, God is a warrior, you don't doubt it. Mm. Because yeah. David was a warrior. Yes. Yeah. So he knew the human power mm. and he knows when God sets in. Mm. David knows that when they go for battle, it's not their strength that conquers their enemies. Mm. It is the strength of God. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what are you talking about? What are you saying? I said divine acceleration. I said divine acceleration. You will do more with a few opportunities. I said you will do more with your academic qualification. Amen. Where your might and your power, your know-how, your technical abilities, the wisdom that you possess cannot get to. I see the hand of God. The hand of God coming upon you, picking you, and positioning you. Yes. At the peak of your destiny, yes. at the level yes. that people will wonder, Jesus. I prophesy to you today yes. in the remaining days of this year, Jesus. may you receive divine acceleration, yes. may you do more, yes. may you become a sign and a wonder. Yes. I talk to some of you, yes. I say it with much yes. effort yes. and audacity. Yes. Why? Because I know. Yes. Yes. Thank I'm tempted to mention names. Mm. <laughs> Those around me, you know, mm. yes. you know, yes, you know. Even mm. when we were praying for uh, January, we were praying for a uh, relocation. Mm. Oh, what are you talking about? Mm. <laughs> that God, this year January, we were praying that because if you want to move with divine acceleration mm. and you are kept. In a stagnant position mm. or a car, like in, in mm. a muddy place, mm. you can't move. Yes. So, first of all, relocation must take place. That's right. For divine what? Acceleration. acceleration. If you are stuck in a mud mm. and I come and I don't change your position, mm. I cannot run with you. Mm. Oh, mm. No. Mm. oh, no. You are That's right. it. You are right. That's okay, it. Wait. The car is stuck in the mud. Mm. Mm. Your life is stuck. Mm, in mm. darkness, my God, or whatever, mm. or poverty, mm. or unfruitfulness, oh. mm. you are stuck. Thank you, Jesus. If I, if I, 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 I provide my help, mm. Mm. and I don't pick you, change your look. If a car is stuck in a man, mm. the car cannot use all its. Oh, dimalakatata. General light of another. Are we still alive? You are alive. We are still alive. Yes, we are. Good. Hallelujah. Stuck in a mud mm. or a muddy place. Mm. Mm. And you, you tend to go and stand there and you tell 
the driver, I'm here to help you. Hey. So press the accelerator. Jesus. To 200, whatever. What do you think you are doing? It's a waste of time. Yes. Mm. Abraham was found mm. as at that time. Mm. Whatever God was ready, mm -hmm. the height, the level, hey. the running, hey. the blessings God was ready uh. to pour into the life of Abraham. Mm. God knew that the, look, the current position, hey. the location, which is idolatry, mm. worshiping of idols, mm. and God hates idols. Uh. So God knows that if Abraham stays in that location, hey. if Abraham stays in that location, mm. I God, no matter the power I possess, mm. I cannot help you. Mm. 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 I mm. said, mm. Mm -hmm. the more you stay in your comfort zone, mm. the less your privilege and the ability to run on divine acceleration. Ah. Because comfort zone provides comfort for today, but it does not provide comfort for tomorrow. And life, you don't look at today, you look at tomorrow. Yes. Mm. Something is doing me. Mm. So, those of you that you are following us by the grace of God, mm. and you are believing God to accelerate, you want to receive things in a fast way, not from human point of view, mm. but from God's own empowerment. Mm. I think you should check location. Yes. Also, most of us, eh, where we are is not helping us. Mm. Also, mm. I'm telling you, yeah. it could be your family house. Yes. Mm. Mm. God did not tell Abraham to hate his family. No. He never told. Move he out. said, leave, move out. Yes. Mm. Mm. You get up in the morning. No, and your desire no, 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 no. is to travel from your location to another location. Mm. But you want to use your car. And your car is still parked at the garage or the compound of your house. Mm -hmm. By evening, you go nowhere. Ah, that's true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> that's true. You go nowhere. Why? Because your car cannot mm -hmm. move itself mm -hmm. eh, to the new destination you want to go to. Mm -hmm. The speedometer of the car will be intact, mm. but, but, but the car will not move. Yes. Mm. Why? Because the location is not helping. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. Also, mm. Some of us, we must say bye-bye to some friends. Mm. We must say goodbye to some friends. Da, da, da. I, I don't know if I'm teaching. Ah. We must say goodbye to some friends. Mm. Else, you can't make a headway. Mm -hmm. Some of us, we must say bye-bye to some family members, some mm. friends, your boss, Shada and start your own business. That, so, so far as you remain mm. eh, at a location, mm. no matter the empowerment, mm. the anointing, the grace that comes upon you, mm. you will use it at where you are, mm. and your speedometer will still be waiting for you. Mm. Shanto, shanto. Brother, mm. it's for somebody. We have not started. Mm. Hallelujah. Praise Amen. God. Hallelujah. Praise Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. Amen. So what we are doing is that we want to continue what we started last week, Wednesday. Mm. That is making my faith work. Even moving to the next level mm. by divine acceleration, it takes faith. That's because right. watch this. Abraham didn't know where he was going. Mm -hmm. Or he knew. No. no. He didn't know. Yeah. But he trusted who called him. Yes. Mm. In the God who calls the things that are not That's as right. though they were. That's right. Mm. Mm. Watch this. When the children of Israel were in captivity or bondage, yes. eh, the land of uh, the Egyptians, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. When Moses came and said, God says, I come and free you from this captivity mm. to a promised land. Mm. Right away that time, they did not go to they did not go and survey the new land. No, mm. watch it. They surveyed, but they didn't do it when they were in Egypt. No. Mm. So it means that where God wants to take you to, mm. there are times your location cannot help hey. you, so you don't see it properly. Mm. Yes, yes. Ah. This is a revelation. <laughs> mm. There are some people, eh, the more you hang around them, your spiritual eyes will be closed. So we didn't hear that. Mm. I said there are some people, eh? mm. the more you hang around them, your spiritual. Mm. 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 
Mm. Mm. So they rather left the old location. Mm. So somewhere in the middle of their journey, mm. they, they sent spies to go and what? Spy the land. So your promise is ahead of you. Mm. Your destiny is ahead of you. But you must believe the one who promised. Hey. Have faith in God. Mm. Like Jesus said. You must have faith in God. That's right. That he who has promised is faithful. Mm. So Moses, if God sent you, you are our elder brother. Mm. We saw you growing up. Mm. But if you have gone and come back and you are telling us that we are moving to the next level, mm. we are ready. We will follow you. Mm. So change of location by faith. Mm. There are times that when you are ready to change your location, it will not look sustainable. Mm. It will not look convenient. Mm. Abraham, I'm sure when he was leaving his father's house, eh, it mm. was inconvenient for him. Mm. What of all? That's true. Because when you are going, you are not going to rent a new land. That's true. Buy new things. Mm. Mm. But Abraham left. Mm. So why did he leave? He applied faith. Faith in God. Mm. Faith. And today we want to continue faith. Yes. So sure. last week when it's the, we established mm. <laughs> the fact that yes. faith is a transporter. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's I mean, what the American movie Transporter. Mm. We said it last week. Yes. So your faith is your transporter. Mm. What will catapult you? Transport you from the state of unfruitfulness to the state of fruitfulness is your faith in God. Amen. He said, Do not cast away your confidence, for it has great recompense of reward. What is confidence? Your resilience, your faith in God is your confidence. That's right. And last week, too, we said, We all know the devil does three things to kill. To steal and to destroy. Hey. But all these three things, we agree that they are all connected to your faith. That's right. Because watch this. Mm. If the devil steals you mm. and your faith is intact, hey. your faith in God is intact, there is always a comeback for you. That's right. Delivered. That's right. That's oh. right. Oh. That's right. Mm. Job lost all his properties. That's the truth. His children mm. and everything. Mm. Even the love the wife hey. had for him, he lost it. Mm. His friends. His friends, he lost mm. them. That's right. But I thank God for one thing. Mm. Say one thing. One, one thing. thing. He did not lose his faith in hey. God. You want me to prove it to you? Mm. If you don't have faith in someone, you can never and will never say that I'll wait till that person comes to change my life. Mm. Joe said, whatever years that it will take, mm. I will wait I'm a young man. Ah, yeah, he's the one. Ah. He's the he one. Said, I will wait till my change mm. will come. That is faith talking. Yes. Mm. So you can lose everything around you. That's right. But if you don't lose your faith in God, hey. restoration is assured. Mm. Restoration is possible. Hey. Your faith will transport you from the level where you are now That's right. to the next level you ought to be, mm. and you desire mm. to be, and you admire. Are we like? Hallelujah. Mm. So we said the devil comes to steal, to kill, and, and to destroy. destroy. But all these things, ah. the devil knows oh. that. Also, no, he well. connects them to your faith. That's right. If he manages to steal your faith in God, mm. destroys your faith in God, mm -hmm. kills your faith in God, mm. the devil knows that he has finished with you. Hey. Mm. Every blessed day, the devil said, God, you know me. I don't waste time. Mm. I'm going to and fro. Walking here and there. Walking here and there. Mm. Seeking who I can devour. Mm. Not to devour your money. See, mm. we, said, also, we said last week yeah. that if the devil visits your life, mm. he is not after your money. No, no. sir. He is not after your wife. No, no, no. no he is no. not after your children. No, 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 no. no. Something said, mm. my hair will. If I lose my hair, the line that you took my hair, but the one who gave me the one who gave me the hair, I still have my in him. I prophesied to you. The way my faith is going the way my faith is going higher this year.
If he takes your wife away, mm. the devil knows that with your faith in God, yes. you, mm. you can have her back or have another woman. Yes. If your womb get damaged mm. and your faith, faith, where you are standing right now, mm. the vehicle you need, mm. the tool you need, mm. is faith. Faith. The vehicle, the car. That's right. The aircraft, the aeroplane. That's right. The jet mm. that will jet you. Ah. Transfer. The devil, his main agenda is to steal your feet. Mm. Also, wait mm. for killing you. I mean, like your body, you die. Mm. That one, the Bible has assured us, no, no demon can kill us. Yes. You understand? Mm. Yes. No, he uh, said, I shall not what die. die. You talk by faith like that. That's yes. right. So that one, no, we shouldn't go there. You understand? Mm. Dying prematurely yes. is not connected to children of God. That mm. one, uh -uh. God did not promise us that. No, it's sir. fine enough. You understand? Yeah. So I'm not talking about physical what? Death. Mm. I'm talking about eh? The devil knows that if your faith in God hey. does not die off, mm. does not get destroyed, he knows it's a comeback for you. That's right. You think the devil doesn't know? He knows. He knows. So his three major assignments is purported, connected to killing, stealing, and destroying your feet. Something said, my hair will mm. grow again. again. May your hair grow again. Making mm. my faith work. Mm -hmm. I, the man of God, I cannot make your faith work no. for you. Mm. Mm. Your elder brother cannot make your faith work mm. for you. No. You have to make your faith work. That's personal. it. Personal. It's a personal choice a and pers a personal decision. It's a personal thing. Hallelujah. Mm. So faith is a transporter. Mm. Faith is the fire extinguisher for fear. Mm. 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 <laughs> That's true. That's okay. true. Kills fear. Ha. Kapush maluma ha. Levi kopalini mm. message. Yes. You know fire extinguisher. And you know fear. Yes. And you know faith. Yeah. I need the three of them. Mm. Mm. So anytime the devil drops fear in you, mm. the best fire extinguisher mm. to flush fear out of your hey, soul, out of your soul, hey. out of your mind. Mm. You are sitting in that aircraft. Yes. Mm. You are sitting in that aeroplane. That's it. You are sitting in that car. That's the it. doctor gave you a false report. Mm. The doctor said your womb is destroyed. Yes. <coughs> they said you cannot make it. And it left fear on you. Jesus. The best antidote, mm. the best weapon mm. to flush fear out, Jesus. to extinguish fear out. Mm. Say it for me. Ah, it's faith. 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 So faith, faith is the fire extinguisher. That's right. Fear. That's right. Fear mm. hinders faith, Man, but know. faith destroys fear. Mm. Let me say that again. Fear. Hinders or stops, mm. slows down faith. Mm. But when faith comes alive, mm. it doesn't slow down fear, it destroys faith. That's it. Sorry, fear. Okay, <laughs> let, me, let me say that again. Yes. Mm. Faith is the fire extinguisher for fear. That's yeah. right, that's right. Then I said, mm. fear hinders faith. Mm. Hinder means block. That's right. Stop. Delay. Mm. Slow down. Deny. So deny. Mm. So fear delays you, denies you, mm -hmm. slows you down, mm -hmm. hinders you. Fear, fear. But when faith comes alive, or something, yeah. it destroys fear totally. Uh. May your faith in God. Yes. Destroy any fear that is hey. lingering in your heart, Amen. in Amen. your mind. Jesus. Whatever is troubling hey. your mind, may your faith in God flush it out, yes. extinguish it out. Yes. May the fire of God mm. mix up with faith in God, That's right. flush your faith out, That's right. flush your fear out. Jesus. In the name of Jesus, yes. reject that report ah. from the doctor. Mm. He said you cannot give birth. Yes. He, oh, yeah. Ah, 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 Faith is believing what God's word has said. Mm. Faith is believing what God's word has said. 
concerning anything and you acting on it. Mm. That is faith. Mm. So anytime you act on God's word, mm. it means you are what? Expressing, applying faith. Mm. I told a woman who told me that she wanted a baby. Mm. I said, number one, Jesus was even born mm. without sexual intercourse or intimacy mm. Yes. Mm. from the father, biological father yes. or earthly father and earthly mother. Yes. Joseph and what? Mary. Yeah, that's right. But still, Jesus was born. Mm. So I said, woman, mm. you have a husband. You've been sleeping with your husband. So you, the probability, the chances, the possibility mm. of you getting pregnant is higher than Jesus' time. Yes. Mm. That's right. You stand at a place of advantage mm. more than Mary and Joseph. Yes. Because they were not sleeping. Yes. <laughs> mm. So you, you have gone ahead mm. That's right. to get pregnant. Yes. So I told her that faith is acting upon God's word. Mm. What does the word of God say? He said, He calls the things that are God. not as mm. though they were. That's so right. you are a woman physically, mm. you are not pregnant, eh? yes. but you are expecting God. Then why don't you mm. walk, talk like a pregnant woman? That's right. Because that's when right. Abraham received the promise from God mm -hmm. that he will be the father of all nations, yes. he had no child. Yes. Mm. He waited five years, no show. Yes. Fifty years, no show. Twenty years, no, no show. show. Twenty-five, mm. right? Yes. But still, Abraham was still calling himself the father of, of many, many nations. <laughs> Why? Because he believed in the God mm. who calls things that are not uh, as though they, they were. were. That's right. So as a woman, mm. start spitting. Exhibit the characteristics of a pregnant woman. Mm. That's mm. me. This is deep. Very deep. I said, woman, if you want to get pregnant, mm. eh, see yourself already pregnant. That's it. Because you call things as though they, they were. were. And you were created in the image of God. Yes. Right. So you walk like God. Yes. You see things like God. That's you right. talk like God. Yes. You behave yes. like God. Yes. Your character must be like God. That's right. Oh, you Give it eh? Am I on track? Yes. You are. Then I said, start walking. You know how pregnant women walk? Yes. I said, lady, start walking and be holding your waist. Yes. Walk like you are pregnant. Yes. When they ask you, tell them you are pregnant. You are. Physically, they can't see what you are seeing. Because I told you last week that faith has eyes. That's right. Hey, come on, speak it Walk like you are pregnant already. Because faith has eyes. I told you last week. Faith sees what unbelief cannot see. That's it. I'm telling you. It's okay. Mm. Faith is a spiritual force. Mm. Those that are writing. Faith is a spiritual force. Mm. Faith is the most potent force on earth mm. and That's in heaven. Right. That's right. I said what? Faith is the most potent. I didn't say impotent. Mm. I said faith is the most potent force on earth and in heaven. Physically and spiritually. That's right. I told you that there is no barrier to faith. Mm. Faith handles impossibilities that's like something right. little. That's right. That's right. Faith mm. displaces himself when he sees impossibilities. Yeah. Uh, 
Oh, it's okay. This afternoon, when we were coming, mm. the Holy Spirit told me something. He said, when you go tell them, faith is a show boy. Mm. <laughs> oh, no. You know show boy? Yes. <laughs> when he sees impossibilities. That's right. When faith sees impossibilities. That's right. That is why he manifests. Mm. That is why he displays himself. That's right. Don't display your faith when everything looks cozy, nice, and mm. no, no, no. You don't need faith when everything is going well. You need faith when things are going yeah. rugged, mm. rough, tough. Mm. Faith is the response of the human spirit to the word of God. You don't respond to God's word with your senses. No, sir. Uh, Pastor, what you are saying, my bank account, we are talking about faith. You say bank account. The God, the Jesus, who makes uh, gold, money, mm. appear part of a fish. Mm. 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 Do you think all the fishes in the sea, as at that time, they were all having gold in their mouth? No. Never. never. It was not true. God never created gold or money in the mouth of fishes in the sea or the river or the lake. Never. No. But the moment Jesus saw that mm. they needed money to pay a bill, mm. faith made money appear in the mouth of that animal. That's it. Faith is a show boy. Sister, display your faith. Mm. They said you cannot make it. Tell them you have, not that you will, tell them you have made it already. Hey. They said you cannot have a child. Mm. Tell them you are pregnant with your second girl. Oh. Mm. Mm. They said mm. you cannot start the church. Yes. Tell them you are started, you are celebrating your third anniversary. Yes. Faith operates in the spiritual realm. I told you that faith is the check mm. that redraws money. From heaven. Can I ask you something? Mm. Which country, spiritually and physically, I'm saying spiritually because spiritually there are countries, there are kingdoms. Yes. You know that? Of course. Yes. There are kingdoms, territories. territories. So, spiritually, and physically, eh? Mm. Which kingdom, which country mm. on earth in heaven, spiritual, mm. wherever, eh? Mm. Which country or dominion mm. or kingdom does not control, does not bow down, does not answer to the call of faith? Uh. Tell me, tell me. I'm waiting for you. Tell me. There's none. Tell me. Faith is a currency. Currency is what? Money. Mm. And in every country, also, in every country, mm. we use money yes. to buy goods and services. That's true. So, if you want to buy goods from heaven, mm. you use faith That's right. to buy goods. Are we okay? Yeah. Should we continue? Oh, demand the buyer. Faith is the title deed. Mm hmm I told you, faith is your land documents. Hey. Because you can't carry your land around. If you buy a piece of land, you can't carry it around and show it to... What of, can you do that? No, 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 no. Can you show your car or your land to everybody that you have bought a piece of land or a parcel of land or a car or you have bought a mansion? Can you? No, no. no. But at least you can show that small documents. Of course. Of course. That small documents. So, as... Faith is what you can show mm. to prove that the land belongs to you. That's evidence. right. Evidence. Your evidence. That's your evidence. Your sustainability. Yeah. Hmm. Two ways to have faith. Two ways. Are we ready? Yes. Romans chapter 10. Mm. Verse 17. I said how many ways? Two ways, ways. two ways to have faith, yes, or to receive what faith. Mm. Yes, if you want to follow us, then you check last week's message last week, Wednesday. Yes. Because last week, 
we talked about um, what is faith, whatever, whatever those things. We talked about them. The basics. The basics. We did it. So today we are doing part two. Yes. So we are looking at mm. uh, ways of receiving, yes. acquiring faith. Because someone will say, man of God, mm. if you claim that faith is so important mm. in a man's life, How do I get even last week I said that um, do you know even unbelievers need faith? Yes. Yes. They go, unbelievers even need faith. Yes. yes. I said who? Unbelievers, unbelievers. need faith. <laughs> even unbelievers need what? Faith. Although you know what? Because when you finish preaching the gospel, when you finish preaching what? The, the gospel. gospel. Yeah. To unbelievers. Yes. Or at a crusade grounds. Yes. Mm-hmm. If they don't have faith mm. in whatever you told them, mm. they cannot accept Jesus. No. That's right. No. Uh, you know what true. That is true. So it means that faith cuts across. Yes. Mm. Faith is needed by all. Yes. That's all. Mm. You need it. You need faith. Yes. I need faith. I need faith. I need faith. I need it in abundance. I need it all. I need it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Can I push? Yes. Can I push? Yes. Making my faith work. work. Making my faith work. Work. So Romans 10. That's 17. You know what? Before 17, huh? Mm-hmm. Give me 8 to 10. Then you jump to 17. Okay. Romans 10. That's 8 to 10. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then I read uh-huh. the word of the Lord. Read out. Romans, Romans chapter 10. Uh-huh. Verse 8. Uh-huh. To the verse number 10. Go. I read. Uh-huh. In fact, it says mm-hmm. the message is very close at hand. What is close? Mm. The message, the gospel. Yes, it's very close at hand. Whatever mm. you heard yes. is closer to you. Yes, uh-huh. it is on your lips and in your heart. It is where on your lips yes. and mm. in your heart. We have treated mm. mouth gate already. Yes, mm. so we know. <laughs> I continue. And it's on your heart. Yes, that's right. Okay, go ahead. And then I continue. Uh-huh. And that and that message is very. And that message is the very message about faith that we preach. Wait, mm. he said mm. the message mm. is closer to you. Yes. The gospel yes. is closer to you. Yes. What is the gospel? Good news. Good news. So anytime you hear bad news for a long time mm. and you hear good news, mm. it's the gospel. That's yes. it. And he said the message is closer to you. Yes. That's right. It has landed on the tablet of your heart. Yes. So it means that when you hear the gospel, mm. don't keep it in your womb. Mm. Mm. Can I say that? Yes. Say it again. If you hear the gospel, mm. as I'm preaching to you right now, yes. you don't keep the gospel in your stomach Shen. or in your intestines. Jesus. It must be on the tablet mm. of your heart. your heart. I'll show you the reason why. Because you know what? Mm. Out of the abundance of the heart, mm. the mouth will talk about it. That's it. So if you see people mm. or you encounter people or something, yeah. and they voice out fear, hey. they voice out anxiety, ah. poverty, mm. lukewarmness, Jesus. unfruitfulness, mm. it means that inside their heart, mm. they don't have the gospel there. Mm. Their heart is full of what? Those things they always talk about. Because your mouth, gate, mm. cannot talk about what your heart reservoir mm. has not kept. Mm. Mm. <laughs> That's true. That's true. So your heart and your mind is a reservoir. That's but right. the exit way to what is in your heart and your mind is through your mouth. Mm. And the entrance is your ears and your eyes. Mm. How do you get faith? Mm. We will we'll, we'll hear right now. Yes. Huh? yes. Then I continue from verse number nine. Uh-huh. If you confess with your mouth, you see, ah, you see what I said? Yes. You see what I said? That's right. He said, if you confess with your mouth, so you that first of all, mm. the gospel, good news, mm. must mm. register on your heart. Yes. As I'm preaching to you right now, mm. or whatever mm. gospel you encounter, mm. you must register it. Also, In your you heart. must accommodate it. Yes. You must accept it, mm. affirm it, mm-hmm. on the tablet of your heart. Hey. So it's read that when the doctor mm. tells me my womb is mm. damaged, mm. I must not register it on my heart. No, sir. Because the Bible said, whose mm. report will you mm. believe? believe? I rather believe the report of the doctor yeah. that created the doctor, that taught the doctor. Mm. That's Hello. it. That's it. 
I better believe, mm. accept, mm. accommodate, mm. register mm. the message mm. that is coming from the doctor, mm. which is Jesus Christ. That's it. Who created the doctor, mm. the senior lecturer, mm. who taught the doctor at the hospital that you went to. Mm. Every doctor was taught by another doctor. doctor. That's true. But the greatest doctor mm. who can teach and teach and do it permanently, ah. heal you. Take you out of ah, sickness or change your damage hey. and give you new fallopian tube. Two yes. pairs of eyes. It's not the doctor who taught your doctor, mm. but it is the doctor who created the universe. That's that right. created the doctor that taught your That's doctor. Right. Mm. Hello. Whose report will you believe? Whose message mm. will you believe? Mm. I said. The best financial expert in town, mm. the best economist ever tested, tried and tested, or something, mm. is Jesus Christ or is God. That's right. Do you know what? Mm. A lot of reasons. Let me give you one of them. Watch this. The economist came to tell the king that the way hunger and strife, poverty is killing us in this village. Or something. Mm. We are doomed. Mm -hmm. To the point that people were killing children, eating yes. them, and all that. Mm -hmm. No food commodities, right? Yes. Is it not about economics? Yes. Yeah. Is it not about uh, uh, development, yes. food, yes. agriculture? Yes. yes. So farmers couldn't farm. Mm -hmm. So farmers couldn't farm. Yes. Or they couldn't go to farm. No. Farm products, yes. food products was not coming. Yes. So it means that that country. In the Bible, mm. the economy was in shambles. Yes. Or yes. it was shaking. Yes. But the man of God came with the word of God. And he said, Tomorrow by this. Oh, that this time. That's what he said. He knows it that one. That's what he said. No, he knows it that one. He, he said, said that. So when you have faith in God, mm -hmm. eh, mm -hmm. your faith defiles the existing laws of nature. Yes. Mm. Mm, deep. Existing laws of nature. The laws of nature say that mm. unless a man mm. sleeps oh. with a woman for sperm to meet an egg mm. before a baby can be born, yes. but God, through your faith in Him, mm. eh, can change the, the status quo yes. and the narrative. Yes. Faith makes impossibilities become possible. So the economist came, and I thank God. There was one economist in the chief's palace, also mm -hmm. that he said, to fear, mm. man of God, even if everything changed, heavens come down, mm. whatever, mm. farmers produce whatever they want to produce, mm -hmm. this farming, this disaster cannot mm. stop. Mm. The economy cannot be on its feet. I, don't can lose it. Also, mm. I said, God is the best economist. Ah. God is the best farmer. Yes. What did the man of God say? He said, mm -hmm. because of your own belief, mm -hmm. eh, mm -hmm. tomorrow by this time, mm -hmm. if the hand of God, mm -hmm. ah, we are talking about the one who knows the financial status mm -hmm. of your country. Ah. You are talking about the accountant mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or controller. Mm -hmm. Who was being taught? Who was taught? God bless you. Mm -hmm. who, who was taught? Mm -hmm. No, who? When Joseph, eh, in the land of Egypt, right? Yes, sir. They encountered famine mm. and everything. Mm. Eh? Yes. Was it not God who gave Joseph wisdom? That's it. Oh, you didn't read that again. Yes. Was it not God yes. who yeah. gave Joseph eh, the wisdom, yes. the technicalities, yes. mm. the arrangements mm. to so, save food yes. or store food yes. for them to have abundance mm. and even give to other countries and his brothers? Yes. We are talking about economies. Uh, mm. Uh, so, so you the doctor he can tell you what he wants to tell uh, you but don't register it on the tablet of your heart that's it that's it you rather register what god has said let me show you something mm. Mm. Hey, faith is serious though. yes you will take me back to romans okay, okay. you take me back to romans okay, mm. okay. okay. is it clear yes it's clear is it clear the video is clear yes. clear thank you yes. also watch this men of god children of god Am I talking to somebody here? Yes, yes. 
I want your faith to come alive. Mm. That whatever you think no, and no, people no. think is impossible with your life, by your life, in your life, with God. All things are possible. possible. That's right. That's right. Abraham was asked by God to sacrifice his son or bring a sacrifice to God. Mm -hmm. And God did not ask for a ram, a goat, or a sheep. Mm. He said, bring your only son. Mm. Uh, faith. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Children of God. When Abraham got to, they journeyed, right? Abraham and his servants, yes. right? Yes. And his son, yes. firewood, everything, mm -hmm. correct? Yes. They journeyed to where they were going to have their sacrifice. Yes. Before they got to the mountain where they were going, Abraham said something remarkable. Mm. Abraham is true. He's the father of faith. Mm. Somebody, they said, go and kill your son. Kill, kill. I mean, kill. Yes. Kill him. Yes. Sacrifice. Go and kill your son. Indirectly. God is saying, go and kill your son. Sacrifice your son. What does he mean? Go and kill your son. Every killing is killing. Every killing is killing. Yes. <laughs> what does it? Does it? Abraham said, Servants, wait for me, wait for us here. Mm. I and my son, or the boy, we are going up there to sacrifice. And we we will or we shall return. He didn't say, I shall return. Even if he dies, God can bring him back oh, to life. That's it. That's it. Diva Palako said Jesus. He said, Servants, Abraham said, My servants, wait for me and my son here. We are going up the mountain mm. and to sacrifice unto the Lord our God. Mm. And I and my son, we, plural, mm. we is two. Mm. We shall come back. If it's to be you, me, or someone else, you will say, I will come back. Mm. Because he knows that he is going to kill his son on the mountain then. Mm. And God cannot even raise the son back. Mm. If the devil kills or steals your feet, mm. you are finished. Mm. How can you carry your son mm. going to kill him? Mm. Then you tell your colleagues around will be back. that I will be back with my son. Mm. It's only feet. It's only feet. It's only feet. Explain. It's only feet. Explain to me. Mm. I'm going to kill my son. Then I tell the people waiting for me uh, that I shall return mm. with my son. Mm. Meanwhile, I know what I'm going to do will end the life, the physical existence of my son. And I know I'm not coming back with my son. I'm coming alone. Mm. But I declare that we are coming, coming back. back. Meanwhile, there was no goat, ram, sheep in addition to mm. our journey. He said, we shall come back. He said, we shall come, come back. If the devil dares you, mm. answer him with your faith. Hey. If the devil knocks on your door, My God. picks up your child with a strange disease, answer that disease with your faith in oh, God. God. Barrenness, controls to faith. Yes. Unfruitfulness, controls to faith. Of course. Whatever challenge you are experiencing, mm. your faith in God has the antidote Mm -hmm. so, That's it. I shall return with my son. Mm. But in my mind, I know I'm going to kill him. Even to the point that the son asked, he said, Daddy, he made another statement. Mm. He said, Is it Isaac? Isaac said, It's Isaac, right? It's Isaac, yes. yeah. Yes. Isaac told the father, mm. young boy, maybe 10 or 12, he said, Daddy, mm. your servants are around. Mm. <laughs> Me too, I'm here. Daddy, you are also here. Yes. Firewood is here. Mm. Taco is around. Mm. The one to light the fire. Exactly. We have that one. Yes. Mm. Daddy, we have everything. Father, Father Abraham, mm. my daddy, I love you. We have everything. But daddy, I've been with you for some years now. Mm. And when you are doing sacrifice and those things, mm. I see that you have a ram mm. or a goat mm. or a sheep. Mm. So daddy, <laughs> this journey that we are embarking to go and sacrifice, I have seen every requirement. Every, mm. you're not with me. Uh, Everything we need 
it for the sacrifice. That's it. But left yeah. with one thing. Hey. one thing. Where is it? Daddy. Daddy Abraham. Mm. We are left with one thing. You are my mm. father. I know that you are intelligent. You have served this God for a long time. So you know everything. How to handle your God. How to deal with him. How to work with your God. But Daddy, I think you have forgotten something. Mm. Daddy, can I go back to our our house, our camp, our camp. Yes. Mm. Abraham. Then he said, Daddy, can I go back to our, you know, our ranch? Yes. Get a goat or, or yes. Yes. get a sheep. Mm -hmm. yes. A bull around. Or a bull around. Mm. Because Isaac has hung around his biological father, Father Abraham, for some time. So yeah. he knows that anytime they are going for sacrifice, ah. mm. if firewood is present, my God, lighter, lighter yes. is present, there should be a I too late. You get too late. That's what I said. I too late. Doctor, if a doctor, if a doctor, yes. if a doctor yes. comes out of the ward yes. and tells you it is is too late, mm. we couldn't. Mm. Then it means it's too late. It's too late. But with your faith, mm. every too late hey. can be a new beginning. Yes. Mm. It's a starting. It's a starting. Mm. The too late of men That's right. eh, is the beginning from God's point of view. That's right. Vision. That's right. Isaac said, Daddy, mm. everything. Oh, come to my life. I said, Isaac said, mm. Daddy, everything is set. Everything is set. He left it one. Mm. The major thing for the sacrifice, That's the ram, the lamb, or the sheep is not mm. there. Yes. Abraham. What did Abraham say? Mm. He said, The Lord shall provide. He said, What? The Lord, the Lord shall provide. Mm -hmm. This is the voice of faith. Yes. Mm. Mm. So I'm sure that time Isaac could be confused. Yes. Daddy. On the way to, there is no animal. <laughs> on the way, mm. nobody has a ranch yes. mm. or is having a cattle farm or <laughs> donkey farm donkey or farm over there. sheep mm. or lamb farm. Mm. So Isaac will be, I'm sure Isaac will be looking at the father, biological father Abraham. Yes. What is my daddy talking about? <laughs> but later, I think Isaac shouldn't be surprised because he should know his father has faith in God. Mm. Father of faith. So when Isaac asked the question, mm. please can you look at me? Mm. When Isaac asked the question mm. from the point of unbelief yes. mm. or the point of unknown, mm. he doesn't know, mm. uncertainty, mm. not assured. Yes. Hmm. Abraham answered him uh. from the point of faith. Jehovah Jireh. He said, The Lord, our God, shall provide. Right. A lamb for the sacrifice unto himself. Yes. Oh, mm. If faith doesn't talk like this, mm. I don't know what else. <laughs> you are seeing death approaching. Mm. The debtors are coming mm. to take their money. Mm. And you tell your children, the Lord shall provide. provide. Your child is being sacked from school. Mm. Maybe you are at the university. You are not able to pay your fees. And you tell your friends, the Lord shall provide. This is the voice of it. Mm. Take us to Romans 10, mm. 17. We want to know how to get faith. Okay, Romans 10, then, verse, then we'll finish the program. verse number 17. Yes, mm -hmm. Romans 10, 17. Yes, I read the word of God. Good. So faith comes from hearing. Wait, wait, wait. Mm. Faith comes from where? Hearing. hearing. They're not the east or the west. Mm. No. Faith comes from where? Hearing. From hearing. Yes. Mm. You remember what I said? That your ear gate mm -hmm. is very important in your life. Mm. What do you hear? So check who you give your ear to. Mm. Mm. From January up to now, mm. who has your ears? That's right. Oh. Mm. That's it. That's it. Mm. A friend who always talks about fear. Mm. A friend who always talks about discouragement. Mm. Mm. You are giving your ears. Because the primary purpose of ears is to hear. Mm. The first purpose of an ear that God provided us with ears is to hear. Is to hear. Hear. Mm. 
You see why I told you that, eh? If my eyes even get blind, eh? Mm. And I have my ears intact, uh, I'll be fine. My God. Do you know why? Because my ears is very important. Mm. There are times you can see something, eh? Change. You don't have faith. Mm. You can see with your eye gate something. Mm. You might not get faith. But Jesus said, the words that I speak to you, they are Love spirit and they are life. Books. books are not life. Uh, Paper is not life. Mm. Picture is not life. I'm telling you. That's it. But words are spirit and life. A word is a spirit. Hey. What I'm preaching right now, mm. none of you can see what I'm saying. Mandala but because goes. it's a spirit. And in this life, spiritual things, eh? Mm. Mm. Belittles physical things. That's right. Over power. Over shadow. Over shadow. Mm. So, so, thank you, Lord Jesus. So, so, man of God. So, man of God. Sure. If you lose your eyes mm -hmm. and your ears are intact, mm. haven't you seen a cripple mm. who owns three companies before? It is mm. possible. Your mind mm. Eh, mm. is fruitful. Because of what you are allowed to enter your ears. That, that's right, that's right. Faith comes not by seeing. Mm. We read it. Yes. That's right. Faith comes by what? Hearing. Hearing. Mm. You must hear. So the first focal point, the first access or chance, how to get, receive, apart, or have faith is to hear. Yes. And over here, and it's there. Okay. Let me show us something. Okay. And hearing of the word of the Lord. Oh, you are watch this. Yes. Hearing, I was still like hearing of the word of God. God. Hearing of the word of God. God. So over here, what you hear is also important. Mm. As how you hear what you hear mm -hmm. is important, it's important. As how you hear it. Hey. The way yeah. you even hear it. The way you even hear it. Mm. So he says, faith coming by what? Hearing. 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 And hearing by God's word. The word or of the God. gospel of Christ. That's it. So whoever you give your ear to. Mm. Is indirectly building faith in you yeah. or building fear in you. Yeah. Mm. It depends. Okay. It depends. My God. It's either building courage in you mm. or discouragement. That's in right. You. That's right. What you hear is important. That's true. <laughs> so number one, faith comes by what? Hearing. 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 Number two. It comes by meditating on God's word. Mm. Joshua 1 8 says what? Do not let this book, don't know. He said, do not Joshua chapter 1, verse do 8. Not let he said, do book. not let this book, this book depart from you. Or this word mm. depart from you or out of, of the Lord. Lord. But mm. thou shalt meditate upon it day, day and night. Whatever you give attention to, of course. Build something yeah. directly. And indirectly in you. That's true. You see why some people have faith in shrines? Mm. You see why some people have faith in uh, the visit a, a native daughter? Mm. Because they hear it all the time. He can help you. The native daughter can help you. He can help you. He can help you. They are seeing their posters. <laughs> Then they eventually mm. go to him. I might see some bad mm. Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. Jesus. He says, I shall meditate. Mm. So you know what? First, faith comes by what? Hearing. Mm. Number two, it comes by meditating on God's word. Because word. what you read, Romans 10 17, he said that you don't only hear, or you don't just hear anything anyhow. That's you right. must hear God's word. And last week I said, if you cannot hear God, read God. That's it. Okay. That's it. That's it. So if you are blind and you have ears, mm. you can hear God. If you are deaf, deaf is over here, right? Yeah. If you are deaf and you have your eyes, read God. That's it. So whichever way, find a way 
mm. to connect yourself to God in order for you to have faith in God. That's it. You are not exempted. That's it. Go. Hmm. 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 Faith is the corresponding action to what you believe or what you hear. That's it. May the Lord bless all of us. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Oh. Hmm. Your faith must not fail. I said your faith must not fail. Mm. My faith must work. My faith must work. So within mm -hmm, within three minutes, mm. one speak in the language of the spirit. One pray. We want to engage our mm. faith in three minutes. Yes. One prophesy. Yes. Faith calls things that are not as though they were. They were. So start calling yourself. I'm the mother of three children. I'm the father of many nations. Mm. That is it. So under three minutes. Mm. So now we have handled what? How to receive or acquire what? Faith. faith. Number one comes by what? Hearing. hearing. And you must not just hear um, anyhow and mm. anything. No. Mm. You must hear the gospel. The you word must hear of God. Good news. You must train your ears mm. to hear good news. That's it. So it's that when someone is passing or transferring a message mm. that is not good news you must not allow it to be registered mm -mm. on the tablet of your heart no. because Romans 10 and 8 to 10 talks about whatever you heard is in your heart That's it. and your mouth must talk about it yeah. he said salvation comes after you confess That's right. so salvation is not only going to heaven mm. what is salvation? Salvation is taking you from darkness to light. That's it. Salvation is taking you from poverty to prosperity. That's it. See, if you are not endangered mm. or you are not in danger mm. or you are not in trouble, you don't need salvation. No, you don't. So we only think that salvation is when you are being saved from the kingdom of darkness or the devil's kingdom to God's kingdom or Christ's kingdom. Please. It's a myopic way of thinking. Mm. It's a limited way of thinking. Mm. Because the word saved or who a savior is takes you from a state of discomfort to a state of comfort. Yes. Ah. Oh, that's it. No, that's I don't know if you're following me. Yes, yeah. we are with you, man. Wait, wait. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Children of God, if I come and I say, mm -hmm. I want to save you mm -hmm. from your situation, mm -hmm. obviously, technically, definitely, mm -hmm. that situation you are in is no good. That's true. But do you save people? From where they are enjoying? No. no. <laughs> it's not possible. They are enjoying. No, no. Do you save someone mm. from a marriage that she or he is enjoying, not enduring? Mm. You save someone from a situation that they are enduring, not enjoying. Mm. So salvation cuts across. That's right. And it takes faith mm. to be saved. Yes. If someone comes to save you mm. from your predicament to a place of prestige mm. and you don't have faith in that person, mm. no matter the conjure of mighty mm. powers, mm. miracle he does, he can't save you. My God. So every salvation is hinged or connected to faith. That's right. So if you are in bondage, mm. poverty, mm. sickness, mm. hospital bed, mm. death, mm. you are in pain, mm. paralyzed, any negative situation, mm. Romans 10, 8 to 10 say that, eh? Mm. You believe in your heart, mm. you have faith in your heart that what you heard mm. that is possible, you must confess it with your mouth. With your mouth. But first of all, it will start with faith. You believing in what you heard. That's right. So, so salvation does not end with going to heaven. Mm. Will I come and save you if you are enjoying something? Will I come and save you, children of God, if you are enjoying something? No. no. A company that has given you a car, a house, good salary, mm. takes care of your hospital bills, my goodness. peace of mind at work, mm. and I enter. Hello, my brother. I want to save you from this company. <laughs> oh, what are you talking about? I'm sure you call me a madman. Mm. Man, will go and check your senses. I think something's wrong somewhere. 
But when I come, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. like I have come today, yes. like Jesus came 2,000 years ago, yes. that's right. That we're in sin, we're uh, in sickness, we're in bondage, we're in poverty. Yes. And Jesus came. He said, if you can have faith, little, like a mustard seed, mm. in me and what I'm telling you, I will save you from this dungeon. That's right. I will save you. So please, salvation, look at it from a broad perspective. Okay. That's right. You don't save people from wealth. Mm. You save people from poverty. That's right. 30 minutes. You want to pray in the spirit. Yes. As you are praying, let your mind follow the spiritual language. Mm. And you can prophesy. You can be speaking words of power. Speak God's word. Change your situation. Don't, don't speak the pain. Mm. Speak God's word. He said, faith comes by what? Hearing. He said, the word of God is nigh you. It's right there in your mouth. It's even in your heart. And your mouth must confess it from bondage to salvation. Salvation is coming. Lift up your voice. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, I am coming out. I am coming out by faith in God. All things are possible. Ra, pa, pa, pa. Lift up your voice, somebody. That pain is going by faith in God, by faith in Christ Jesus. The pain is going. You are coming out of that hospital. You are coming out. Poverty is leaving your family. Anxiety is leaving you. Faith has enveloped you in the name of Jesus. My faith in God, the miracles are right. Receive that all. 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 Receive that promotion. Receive that job. Yes. Receive that job. I receive it. Receive that tree. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Faith makes impossibility. Where you are connecting with us from. Ah, Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. So today we have done the part two. Mm. Uh, making my. Hallelujah. Amen. So as I was saying. We thank God. Um, making my faith work. Last week was part one. You can still check on. Great. That will love you on Facebook. On YouTube. Mm. You get the part one. Two. Mm. Hallelujah. So God willing, next week, Wednesday, we'll do part three. Mm. Next week, Wednesday, we'll do part three. That mm. is when we'll talk about the types and the kinds of faith. There are different types of faith. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. We don't only have one type of faith. We have different types or kinds of what? Faith. So God willing, just like I said, so God willing, next week, we'll do part three. Making my faith work. Next week, Wednesday, making my faith work. So you can get to us uh, plus two three three plus two three three zero two four three zero two four three four two four two six two six two nine 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 plus two three three plus two three three zero two four three zero two four three four two four two six two six two nine 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 nine. So you can reach us on WhatsApp the same number. You can call us the same number on WhatsApp the same number. You can also support us with your offerings and your tithe. Hallelujah. God, hallelujah. 
as you release your seed, as you release